Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the Chatney Stadium. This afternoon's Vanarama National League game is between Chesterfield and Southend United. Chesterfield show one change from the side that uh, beat Notts County 3 1 during the week. Curtis Weston is back from suspension, and he starts. Slide of Khan is out of the side. He doesn't get a place on the bench either, which suggests he's probably got a knock. The full Chesterfield team then looks like this. It's a team that uh, sees Scott Loach in goal for Chesterfield. Scott Loach makes his 500th career appearance this afternoon. So Scott Loach, 33 year old, he's got plenty more uh, scenes in front of him. But Scott Loach makes his 500th career appearance. So congratulations to him for that. And applause there from the cop. So Chesterfield's team there, number one is Scott Loach. Number three, Calvin Miller. Number six is Lawrence McGuire. Number eight, Curtis Weston. Number nine, Aquasi Asante. Number 10, Liam Mandeville. Number 16, Jim Kellerman. Number 20, Jeff King. 22, Jamie Grimes. 29, Alex Whittle. And number 30, Tom Whelan. On the bench of Chesterfield, number 13, Melvin Minter. 12 is Tyrone Williams. 27, Joe Quigley. 32, Fraser Kerr. And 39, Joe Rowley. The South End team also includes one change, with uh, Costello Parter coming in for Jason Demetrio. And the South End team in goal is number one, Steve Arnold. Number three is Nathan Ralph. Number five, Sean Hobson. Number 10, Sam Dolby. Number 20, Will Atkinson. 21, Harrison Neal. 22 is Casper Parter. 27 is Leon Davis. 30 is Matt Dennis. 35, Ollie Kensdale. And number 38, Noor Hussein. On the bench of South End, number seven, Jack Bridge. Number eight, James Dunn. Number 11, Callum Powell. 24, Jason Demetrio. And number 25, Jack Wood. This afternoon's referee is Aaron Jackson from Liverpool. It's his second visit here to the Technique Stadium this season. He refereed the 2-2 draw with Altrincham here back in November. <laughs> Neil got the first touch on it, with the ball played back by Kellerman to Maguire, and now out wide to Alex Whittle. Down the line from Whittle, received well by Miller. Miller now taking on Ralph. The cross goes in first time. Mandeville was there. And an opportunity for Chesterfield. Good header from Grimes. Into Asante. Shields it from his opponent. Asante outnumbered, but the ball coming through to Kellerman. Wide now to Miller. Calvin Miller now taking on the right back once more. Miller gets to the right side of him. The ball played in there towards Kellerman. And out for the first corner of the game to Chesterfield. Neil. Still Harrison Neil looking to shoot. Hits Grimes. And away at the back by Whittle. Miller. It's a good ball to Weston. Curtis Weston back in the side after his three game suspension. Asante plays it on. Kellerman. Into the area by Kellerman, but away by Hop by uh, Laparta. Jeff King tries a shot. Oh, yes! Jeff King! Beautiful goal! Nine minutes into the game, and Jeff King scores an absolute cracker. Jamie Grimes delighted there, as you can see. But the Chesterfield team celebrating in front of the East End. And what a cracking shot that was from Jeff King. We've seen him do it before, and he's done it again. Jeff King gets his third goal of the season, and Chesterfield lead by a goal to nil. Markinson losing out there as uh, Laparta plays it to Nathan Ralph. Ralph plays the ball in short, there's a chance here, again as the ball is laid off by Atkinson. Ralph looking to get the crossing, which he does, Grimes with the header away, Ralph gets another opportunity, back post this time, the header from Dalby, stopped on the line by uh, Scott Loach. Uh, just as the South End fans thought they might have scored, Sam Dalby there with the header scored in the 1-1 draw last weekend against Solihull. It looked like he got another one there, but uh, Scott Loach 
making sure he didn't go over the line. And the scoreline remains Chesterville 1, South End United 0, with 34 minutes now of the game played. Davis to uh, Atkinson, the ball across the field, looking for Ralph, cuts out by King. And now Liam Mandeville, Chesterfield looking to get forward here, Whelan making a run through the middle. It's still Mandeville on the ball, wants Asante in there. A quasi Asante turns and shoots! Great stuff from Asante, turned over the bar by Steve Arnold. Good shot there by Asante, it looked like he might pass it or cross it, but he went for goal just under Steve Arnold's crossbar and Arnold made a good save. And Steve Arnold to put the ball back into play. Great header from Grimes, Asante. It's a good ball in for Miller. Calvin Miller now, he needs to shoot now. And Calvin Miller puts it over the south end crossbar, but a good move there by Chesterfield in the dying seconds of this first half. Asante playing a great ball through there to Calvin Miller. Miller putting it over the crossbar, and that will be the last action of the first half here at the Technique Stadium. Underneath the crossbar and turned over by Loach. Good save there by Loach. Was it Matt Dennis with the header? It was certainly Scott Loach with the save. The Chesterfield goalkeeper keeping them out there. Grimes with the header. Good head in there from uh, Oh, a great chance here for South End. They've got right through the middle here. Can they slot it past Loach? The ball is hit wide anyway. And the referee, though, has given the penalty. Scott Loach bringing down the South End player in the box. And South End United have a penalty. A yellow card shown to Scott Loach as well. to Aaron Jackson's whistle now, Sam Dolby ready to take the penalty. And the referee making sure that everybody's outside the penalty area. It's Dolby to strike, and Loach, well, it spun off Loach, didn't it there? So Scott Loach actually made the save from Dolby, and the ball spun into the back of the net, and South End United all level. Sam Dolby is the goal scorer. Maguire, a clever ball there to Weston. And now Miller. Calvin Miller now, Quigley arriving in the area. The ball goes into Quigley! And his header is saved by Steve Arnold. That'll do Joe Quigley's confidence a lot of good. And Chesterfield have a corner kick. Whittle's clearance, Quigley underneath it, getting a shirt pulled there by uh, Lapata. Miller into Mandeville. Out wide now to Rowley. Joe Rowley attacking this South End defence. Played back to King. The ball in from King. Miller's header! Calvin Miller! Give the Spirax the lead! The ball in from King. And Calvin Miller on 78 minutes. Scores Chesterfield's second goal of the afternoon. It's Chesterfield 2. South End United 1. For Rowley, it'll come for Rowley now. Joe Rowley attacking this defence once more. Rowley's right oh. in there, both, and Quigley just puts it over the top from very close in. Joe Rowley with a good driving cross into the near post there, and Quigley trying to flick it home, instead flicks it wide. Reeland, King just getting a foot in there, but uh, South End. Have the possession back again as Nathan Ralph plays the ball forward towards Dolby. Oh, and a chance here for Powell. Callum Powell shot! And he's put it wide. A real let off there for Chesterfield. Callum Powell in on goal. He got nobody to uh, interfere with his shot. And he's put it wide of the Chesterfield goal. That was a great chance for South End to get the equalising goal for the second time this afternoon. Quigley. 
Ripley's doing well. Lazy out, watch it rolling. Joe Rowley twisting and turning. Oh, off the crossbar! Great effort from Rowley. Off the crossbar there, and that really should have been the third goal with the Spyrites. Davis has slipped there, but he managed to keep possession. Jack Bridge on the ball now, the lead, the lead substitute at the moment. The ball in from Bridge. Oh, and he's turned home by Fraser Kerr. at the end of the game the substitute Fraser Kerr in an attempt to clear the ball has put it into his own net and the job that Paul Cook put him on for has been blown apart put the defender on to preserve the lead and it's the defender that's actually turned the ball into the back of the net and given South End the goal Jeff King will take the free kick then and an opportunity here for Chesterfield. Can they get this one right? Can they find the winning goal? King plays it in. Oh, and just headed it over the crossbar. So Leon Davis with the throw. High ball from Atkinson. Grimes heads out. And referee Aaron Jackson blows the final whistle right on the six minutes here at the Technique Stadium.